What's up world, it is Ninja Chortle here and I'm bringing you my morning after series. Uh, what the morning after is basically is, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this on YouTube. I actually do this on the blog, uh, blurdy.com. So uh, whatever I feel led to, it's not a weekly thing, but I'm pretty much gonna watch a TV show and it's strictly for TV shows and It'll come on in the evening and then I'll write up something for the morning, basically a reaction to that episode. Um, I don't do it for every TV show. I don't do it every week for the TV shows that I watch. Just something that I do when I feel led to, like this past week, The Walking Dead episode. Sorry. Uh, the Walking De Dead episode, I thought I was going to watch, uh, do a morning after on and I didn't because just nothing really happened it's not really worth writing about in my opinion I just didn't want to waste time on it but I'm gonna do a morning after on this episode of Supergirl and I wanted to talk a little bit more because um, there's a little bit going on with Supergirl and I felt that maybe we should discuss it over the video as well not just on the written blog but feel free that this is still a written blog and if you want to check out the written version of this the link is in the article uh, link is in the description below so you can check that out uh, but let's get started so last night the episode of Supergirl and the Flash crossover finally happened it had been building up for a little while and it took a long time to uh, you know come to be a lot of people were speculating is it gonna happen is it not gonna happen you know all that stuff and the episode itself was okay in my opinion um, it involved if you hadn't seen it the flash accidentally traveled through the different earths and landed on supergirl's earth and supergirl's never heard of the flash or green arrow or adam or any of those characters she never heard of them they're not on her earth which um, i don't know personally if that is something that was well known beforehand I don't know if that's something that's going on in Arrow and, and the Flash and they they already know that information but Supergirl didn't know and I watch Supergirl I don't watch the Flash I don't watch uh, Green Arrow maybe one day but it's just not my fandom but again I don't know if that information is out there before this but he explained it in a little chart they have different dimensions and so on he accidentally came to this one he has to come back he has to go back and they fix that obviously at the end of the episode uh, now Supergirl and Flash teamed up so they can fight two of her villains uh, a live wire and the other one Siren Shriek whatever her name is I, I can't think of it right off the top of my head but the Sonic Powers one um, so that happened and again the episodes okay uh, what I really wanted to talk about is what else is going on with Supergirl so last a week and a half ago was C2E2 here in Chicago and little did I know at that time that that was the first panel and I attended the panel with uh, Melissa Beno Benois and Cryer or Cryer I don't know how to say her first name or any of her name Cryer Lee uh, I apologize for butchering your name but that was the first panel that they've been on for Supergirl that, that they've had since they've had the show. Show's been on since sept uh, September, October, October, the end of October. The uh, Supergirl been airing. So there's been so many cons since then. We're talking about five months, and now we get the first con uh, first convention panel, which I feel honored that uh, Chicago got the whole son of that but something like that but um still it's it's odd that this is the first one and it was also odd that this panel was completely full and there was absolutely no space in their standing room at the back as well uh you know all that was pretty full and it shocked me i was a little surprised by that now to, in comparison the chloe bennett panel for ages of shield very busy a lot of people that wanted to ask questions and there was a lot of people in there but it was on the last day and it was not as full as a Supergirl panel so I don't know if that's any indication 
of you know Supergirl's popularity over Agents of Shield or over Chloe Bennett, or just the fact that it was on the last day and a lot of people just weren't attending. It was the last panel, you know, so maybe those people already left. So I'm not gonna get too into that. But again, back to Supergirl, it just surprised me that she had that many fans and that there was uh, that big of a following in the area. There was even people that came in from New York and from out of country just to come to C2E2 so they can see Melissa. And that's uh, pretty outstanding. Now, this past weekend, CBS put up a big list of TV shows that they announced that are going to be renewed for a new season and Supergirl did not make that list. So right now it seems like Supergirl is being canceled. Um, certainly there's still more episodes in this season that they're going to air. Um, there's still a chance that they could change their minds or maybe their minds haven't been made. Maybe by the time I put this video out there's a new decision saying Supergirl Season 2 will be happening, but as of right now, it does not look like Season 2 for Supergirl is going to be happening at all, um, which is a major bummer. Now, I've gone, and like I said, I've done these morning afters frequently on the blog since we started, and the most frequent topic on the morning after has been Supergirl episodes. I don't know the exact count, but for the most part, I've... I've been doing probably at least five or six of these on Supergirl alone and add this to it with the first video being to it. Um, I like the show enough, but I don't think the show is great. And again, I don't watch Arrow. I don't watch Gotham. I don't watch The Flash, but I decided to watch Supergirl because I wanted to give it a chance. It's the first of our era of the superhero movies and TV shows. It's the first superhero female show. Uh, if you can count Agent Carter you, if you'd like to, and I love Agent Carter, but since she doesn't have powers, it's kind of a spy show. I'm not going to count that. It's just in the Marvel Universe. So Supergirl, she has powers and she's a legit superhero. So I'm going to say she's the first in this modern era of superhero and heroine movies and TV shows and stuff. And it's very important that this show is good and that's why I wanted to watch it. And like like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the first season, the first half of the first season for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was awful. I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's one of my favorite shows, but it was absolutely awful. It didn't, it took until when Lady Sif showed up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., when she came in and did that guest uh, appearance, that episode was excellent. And every episode after that has been better and better and better. And it's gotten a really good show, become a really good show and gotten a really good following since then. Supergirl, this first half of Supergirl season, again, pretty bad. There wasn't any episodes that I liked. But if you go to the point where they had that one episode focused on Martian Manhunter, on John Johns, on his character, uh, his history, and going to the Mars and seeing the White Martians and so on, that episode was pretty good. And it was the first episode that I admit to actually liking. Sucks that there wasn't much Supergirl in it, but I liked that episode. But since then, the episodes, have, I feel, are much better than they were in the first couple of uh, episodes, the first half of the season. So, again, last night, it was an okay episode. I wasn't, you know, jumping, you know, through the air about what happened with the Flash and everything. But it's still a better episode than what had been previously airing on Supergirl. So, why, though, do you think that Supergirl is being canceled, at least that's the way it seems that it's going to be canceled. Uh, honestly, I think one of the things that is plaguing the show is that it feels, in my, again, my opinion, that Supergirl is structured very much like an old school comic book. You know, how you just go, you spend your 25 cents back then, or 12 cents, whatever it is, and you get your comic book 
and you see your hero and then you see them out of costume and then here comes a villain they're gonna rob a bank or do some evil thing and then here comes a superhero generic and all bang bang beat them up done bag it up and that's a comic book and and then that's that's that there's hardly any structure any story any carried on elements that feel like it's building into something or anything that's compelling to supergirl like there, there's nothing there it doesn't feel like it you take a show like daredevil which i just finished binge watching a show like uh jessica jones where i can watch an episode and that's that's an episode but there's more i can keep going and it's just a big branching building universe and also in my emotional investment in the characters more than one not just the main character uh watching daredevil now is just like hey you know i just watched two episodes i really want to watch more because this this story is not over yet where supergirl is like i throw it on okay yeah there's an hour i'm done turn it off i'm gone and it's it i i i that's the problem that I don't want to watch more. I only watch it because I feel like I have to. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I, again, I like to show enough. It's not like Fear of the Walking Dead where I'm done. Like I'm, I don't care about Fear of the Walking Dead. That show was garbage to me the first season. I didn't even watch the season finale because I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not interested in season two. Supergirl comes back for season two. I'd watch it, but. I still want the show to be better. How is it that this show is not appealing to other people? Maybe CBS is, you know, trying to find their their niche audience, and that niche audience either doesn't watch consistently or it just isn't big enough to support what they're trying to do on the show. That that's that's my take. I mean, that that's it has to be a reason why they would say no we don't want to take a chance on supergirl anymore because again with agents of shield that show should have been canceled it could have been canceled but marvel and abc totally had faith and they saved that show from being canceled and it could have been josh whedon it could have been jeb whedon i don't know who was in whose ears about saving that show but it could have and probably should have been canceled in its first season but because they stuck with it, we ended up getting a really great show. I think that they should stick with it with Supergirl. I really do. Uh, as much as I've written about it and been critical, I do think it's very important that uh, a female-led superhero show is on television. Marvel doesn't have anything planned for that at all. They have Marvel's Most Wanted with Bobby and Hunter, but that's not a female-led show. Now, don't get me wrong, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has tons of females, and they share equal billing, equal power, and so on with the boys, and so would Bobby and Hunter in their own show. Uh, but a female-led show is something that is needed in the superhero, geeky, nerdy community. Supergirl is that right now, because we're not gonna get Wonder Woman you know she's going to be in the movies you know mockingbirds joined up with hunter we're not going to get you know a batgirl show i highly doubt that if we did i'm there i'll watch that but right now it's supergirl and what they shouldn't they shouldn't even think about canceling it right now what they need to do is fix the show and get it better get better marketing and get better more consistent effort out of everyone like i don't want to see a new villain every week you know i want to see a new development in the character every week i want something that will pull me in and say i gotta get home at seven o'clock so i can watch supergirl tonight Ugh, you know that's the problem with the show i don't care hopefully CBS doesn't cancel it, but if they do, what's going to happen to Supergirl after that? We see with the cancellation of Constantine and what they're doing, and they're putting him on Legends of Tomorrow. Like, that's great. 
they're continuing that character despite the fact that that show is no longer around and they're keeping him in a universe if Supergirl gets cancelled what happens to her is she gonna slide over to the CW is she just gonna be a reference point or is she gonna be in full can she be in Legends of Tomorrow can she be on Arrow can her show be picked up by CW and they just have it on the CW maybe Netflix would like it or maybe she j makes the big jump and goes to the big screen and appears with you know all the Henry Cavill's and he appears with Ben Affleck and is in the J uh, JLA movie or the you know Justice League movie which I think would also be great but they there's no way that they can just say as DC Comics okay let's scrap this movie scrap this show excuse me and never look back at Supergirl not the, what what they're trying to do and build a world and what they're trying to do and and have some continuity and try to be like Marvel yes which is they have to they can't scrap Supergirl she's not the most important superhero but she's one of the most important female superheroes especially since they don't have anyone else right now alright thank you for watching this video uh, for sure give it a like for sure share it I appreciate that if you do um, again there's a written version link is in the description below if you want to see the written version of this it is a little different and a little shorter because sometimes I just rant on here um, again I'm also Ninja Chortle uh, you can follow me on Facebook now I have a Facebook page a Twitter and Instagram at Ninja Chortle but make sure you follow the blog and go there and read stuff watch trailers and look at pictures of things and do things there and comment and talk to me because I see everything all right see you guys later I just want to say thank you for watching this video if you haven't already please hit the like button share the video with whatever social media you have and subscribe to our YouTube channel we put up all types of videos as well as bl blog posts on our blog blurdy.com about gaming and comic books and cosplay movies and TVs we have reviews we have previews we just discuss whatever is happening in our nerdy world so make sure you go and check us out we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Twitch so you can watch us play games. And we also have an Instagram account which is 100% dedicated to cosplay. So if you are a cosplayer or just a cosplay lover, make sure you follow us on Instagram. But you're here on YouTube or maybe watching us on our blog, uh, blurdy.com. So while you're here, make sure you start watching this video right here. A direct response to that video or a follow up. Uh, to that, but it's not going to be talking about video games. I'm talking about uh, comic books this time, comic books and in the TV realm. So, just last week or a week and a half ago, uh, Iron Fist, the TV show, finally got their character. It's going to be Finn Jones 